Hey guys, many of the new Eureka users are facing a uh, reboot issues after two years of their purchase, and the issue will be like this. Once you press the power button, it goes on to U logo. It holds for about two seconds, then again, it the logo repeats. So it's a kind of boot loop. So if you think that it's a software issue, no, it's not. It's probably a battery issue and in this video, I am going to uh, test and tell you how can you rectify this problem. First of all, you need to shut down but you can't shut down with normal process so you got a need to remove the battery. Um, I will use a tweezer to remove it because it's jammed here. So keeping it aside. Now for first of all I would like to say that we need to do some uh, open, we need to open the battery and so I would suggest you to wear gloves safety first. Though there is no major concern but still wear the gloves because it's safe. So let's wear. And wear the glove and this is the battery. Now as you can see I will turn on the flashlight. This is the battery. You need to open the cover. Opening the cover is very simple just remove the sticker. Just remove the sticker. Keep it aside. So you will get something that looks like this. Now you need to remove this border frame. And for that frame removal, you need to just slowly, you need to use your finger here. Yeah. I got this open end and with the help of this open end, you need to figure out the other possible ways to open it. It's a little difficult process and you may break the frame but don't worry this is of no use to us right I'm really sorry guys because I don't have I don't have any tripod stand I'm using this selfie stand with me yeah so it is removed so now we have to carefully remove this to carefully slide this open it will get open don't worry this is a bit tricky you know so tricky part I to use the tweezers damn man this is, you know guys I am doing this for the second time still I am facing the issues like you know this is got stuck in the, the circuit has been stuck here you need to be very careful of not breaking that circuit no, I think I need to break it now I have no options left it doesn't get open Yeah, it's okay. So this is the new circuit. Now you will see that these are the two. I I think you can focus here. Yeah. These two joints should not be broken. So the two battery compartment and this is the normal circuit. You need to fold it from this side. Make sure if you are holding this battery like this and the terminals are towards its left, then you to then you need to uh, move the circuit board towards you, so that when you rotate that, you will find this is the terminal from which it is getting the power. This is the second terminal, and if you find this is the IC, uh, this is the IC, this is the IC number two, the two terminal. And if you focus here, you will see that this is an E. You need to short it. According to a user on the U forum, he has asked us 
to just short it so wait a sec i will just bring the wire currently i am able to find any wire so i just got this wire i actually i am unable to find any such wires so what i am going to do is you know just remove the polymer coating from this wire and seeing this wire it reminds me of the today's topic which was which came in my exam it was extrusion molding polymer basically it is a kind of polymer you see it's done i won't tell you that thing i won't go into depth of chemistry because even i don't like chemistry so we are coming to this and as you can see this is the e part and i am just taking this and shorting this and another method says i need to scratch it a bit so as to make the soldering clear let's try to scratch it Yeah, I have scratched it. Now what I will do is basically I will just fold the circuit, bring my phone, insert it as this. But guys, remember this is not a safe method. I would say just wait. Let me check because I am doing for the first time, and let's see if it works or not. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then I will have to try another method. Let's see the flash. I got one. No, it's not working. Yeah. So guys, after that failure in my video, I tried different methods. I was unable to understand. Then what I did was actually, I took a small part of this wire, twisted it, and what I did, I don't have soldering machine, so I placed it between the two terminals of E. If you can see it, I don't know. I want to see it, and I don't want to risk it. Open it, I guess. Yeah, you are seeing that this is the wire which I kept in between the two terminals of E, and I just closed it. And then what I did is I just brought the Eureka, slid inside it the battery. right oh what the hell so i just slid inside the battery in the eureka okay then pressing the power button let's see yeah it's booting so now let's hope it will boot and here it is finally boots and trust me guys everything is working fine but 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 one biggest thing i don't know how it will react while charging currently it is booting as you can see sorry for this video quality but actually i don't have a setup ready and i was just trying it and and it actually booted and i wanted to show that it really turns on and there is no such reboot problem and you will understand it once it boots up the normal cm 12.1 which came with the eureka i had purchased it in the month of jan 2015 on the year 2015 and there was an issue of reboot but after this trick posted by a user on u forums it works here you go it turns on settings are opening the main problem concerned with it was whenever a high intensive app was open it used to reboot let's try with camera camera works 
then let's try to open chrome yeah accept and continue no thanks 